What's up guys, MXB Vibes here, back with another video. I wanted to talk to you guys about why I don't ever see myself getting married. And let me explain why. I personally feel like nowadays, men in their 20s, my age, I just turned 26 last week, and below 17, 18 and up, we get attached to and married to women too early um, you know as much as I'm just going to keep it real as much as you know us guys want to say like oh I'm every real man like you know like try to act like a player like a lot of these men you know do get tied down too early and while yes some some couples do end up working in the long run, maybe our parents' generation or their parents, like our grandparents. But nowadays, the statistics are just too high, you know, for me to be tied down. Um, if you look at the divorce rates now, 70%, close to 70% on your first marriage, second marriage goes up to what, 80%, your third marriage is almost 90 so the odds of that alone is reason enough for me not to get married um in my family i'm not saying anybody's names in case they're watching but i have at least five uncles who are on their third marriage got ex-baby mamas ex-wives they're on the third third marriage um, with three to four different kids, five of five of my uncles, same same path, same. Uh, and when I see that, that is like a that goes off in my head. It's like a, a a warning sign, almost like a no, like okay, I'm looking at this example, and this is what I see. So this is not something that this is not the path that I want to go down. Now don't get me wrong, again, there are some couples who make it, and that's great. But nowadays, when men get married too early, you start to lose your purpose. You start to, honestly, it's distracting. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'll, I'll tell you about my background. I'm not gonna say when, but I was, I was engaged uh, to a gorgeous, gorgeous girl, uh, but, Things just didn't end working out for personal reasons. Uh, but I felt like during that time, I had lost my purpose. Like, I completely kind of let myself go. I was already, like, I'm already had let myself go before then, but especially when I got with her and, okay, it's time to, it's time to propose, which I did. I waited a whole year and, you know, things just started revealing to myself. like, no, I can't do this. You know what I mean? Um, especially bringing in the government right and tying everything together and things like that i didn't want you know anything like that to come back on me or but anyway basically what i'm saying is we lose our purpose and we lose who we are because we don't know who we are to be honest i mean we go to college yes but does that mean that we know what we want to do no not exactly and before I feel like a man has had the maturity, I'm not talking about, okay, you're 19 and you're wise or, you know, I mean like actually maturity where you're living on your own, you got this, you got this, you know what I mean? Basically you get to a point where you're independent, right? And a guy has our age, just be honest, like some of us are still living with our parents, which is nothing wrong with that. But I personally feel that when we get to this age, it should be time for us to start focusing on our wealth, keeping our body right, eating healthy, uh, getting plenty of exercise, and you know, trying to build our lives before we can invest in someone else. Honestly, I wouldn't encourage a man to get married really at all, especially not in these days, you know, because statistically speaking, um, <laughs> Most of the time, the kids go to the, the, the wife. Um, she has to be really unfit as a mother. And even then, in some cases, it's still not 
overturned, but majority, if not most of the time, it goes to the woman. And so hearing those statistics and watching, again, my uncles, I just, I just knew that it's not something that I personally wanted to go down, you know, that road, that path. And again, it's nothing against people who are married who are watching me. Like, that's great. You love your husband. You can love your wife. That's great. But just speaking from a man point of view, it's not something I'll focus on. Like, okay, if I change, I'm not saying I won't change my mind. I might change my mind. Okay, and let's say um, when I get 37, I might be, all right, like, it's time to settle down. But until then, like, I'm going to be me. You know, I'm going to stay a bachelor. I'm going to focus on me. You know what I mean? Of course, like, I have girlfriends, and you know, from time to time. But I'm not. It feels like the world is just, like, so obsessed with that. And it's just like, no, like I'm on my purpose. I'm actually working on myself. Uh, a lot of guys are so focused on women that they it, 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 they can't get ahead. Like, it really, like, that's all... Got some co-workers like that. That's all they're thinking about. And I'm talking about these men in their 30, 40s, 50s. That's all they focus on, you know. And I understand it because that's what the culture has displayed, you know. Whether it's in rap music, movies, television. And so if today we were more focused on ourselves, putting ourselves first, right, and, 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 and establish and develop as a man and have everything we need, then we can get into that, okay, you want to be a father, okay, you want to be a husband, spouse, you know, and actually provide, right? But we can't do that if we broke and we this. I mean, like I understand a lot of couples, they can't, they honestly can't get a divorce because it's too expensive. I have a coworker like that, you know. Um, his wife is pretty abusive and they, they fought before. Like, his nose is, like, broken right here. Like, she hit him with a frying pan when he was sleeping. I know, right. Um, threatening to run over him, stab. It's a lot of stuff, but mm, still with her. Uh, but anyway, that's, again, hearing those stories, and I got another co-worker on the fourth baby mama. So, got three kids. So, I look at those, and those are, like, Okay, I'm. A, I know I'm on the right path. I know I'm on the right path, and actually investing the time, the money, the energy we spent on trying to chase females, trying to go on dates, trying to convince people to like us. We, if we took that money and invested it in ourselves, we would be far better along. I'm just being honest. It's just my personal opinion, and it's funny because men nowadays. If you're 35, 40, 45, and you're not married, maybe you have a girlfriend or something, or you don't, people will start to really try to dive deep into your personal life and try to see, like, oh, is he crazy? Is he mentally ill? What's, is, why is he alone? Or is he gay? Is he, what's going on with him? Like, did he lose some, you know, all these type of questions. They can't fathom the idea that a single man can be happy because we have been told to just put all our attention in the woman. I'm just being honest. Again, it's my personal opinion. Guys, I'm at work right now, but I wanted to just add to the video, look at all of the places I've been. This has been for maybe a couple years, but look at all the places I've been myself. You know, solo travel. Didn't have anybody with me, and I enjoyed myself. And I think, I love the fact that we're able to you know, travel like this, but a lot of people choose to be sedentary and just stay in their hometown you don't look at all of that your life is not over if you're not married <laughs> i just wish more men would understand that and not have that fear of being alone because it's not over let me give you an example last year for my birthday i went skydiving and people always say this but if they had told me that there was going to be a 60 to 70 percent chance that my parachute didn't come out. Do you think I would have got on the plane? I'm just saying, like, and that's that's what happens is that's the first marriage because you you don't know, you know. And then again, the wife gets the kids, 
because she again she has to be unfit for her not to get the kids you know and i'm not trying to rant it's just the same people that keep complaining about oh my baby mama is my baby or my wife did she did she did and i get my advice is like they don't they don't have to take my advice is not what i'm saying what i'm saying is like they kind of like dismiss it as I said. Like if I say, "Oh well, maybe think about spending a little separated time." Maybe, uh, yeah, but no, the kid. You know what I mean? So I just stress free, man. Honestly, you know, some people call it not to get into the labels or the red pill side of YouTube, but some people call it again the red pill or MGTOW or uh, Bachelor for Life. You know, and that's the thing. Just because you're single as a man does not mean that you're not out there doing your hobbies, chasing your dreams. Again, I have a lot of hobbies, but it fills my time, you know, and it's I I, I genuinely love doing them. You know, especially when you get 45, 50, you retire. Man, like, I'm talking about hitting the road, long road trips, 4,000 miles, I mean, all across the U.S., probably going to do some backpacking in Japan, some backpacking in uh, Bali. Uh, I kind of want to retire and move to Mexico City. I've been checking it out. Uh, really good size, uh, standard of living, especially, you know, what I want to retri- retire with, then I'll definitely be uh, good out there. But again, don't feel pressured to get married right now. If if you're 15 and up, like, and you're not married, just take some... I, Consider take some time, focus on yourself. Really question if this is what you want because most times again people can't get out of a divorce like that. Comment below if if you're single or you have never been married or you want to get married or reasons why I'm wrong or reasons why you're right. I just want to hear your thoughts and opinions. But I appreciate you guys for listening and I'll see you guys in the next video. It makes me out.